And some have gone on to do great things. In fact, our headliner tonight was a comic in residence who's now doing the Conan O'Brien show and HBO and all that sort of stuff. And this young lady, I am very, very psyched on. She will be opening every show in January, and just being able to say that makes me so happy. Please welcome Ms. Jennifer Miskowski. My name is Jennifer Miskowski. Uh, my mother named me Jennifer because that was the law in 1975. <laughs> Don't pity me, she mixed it up a little bit. My middle name is Anne. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Whenever anybody hears my last name, Miskowski, they always say, Miskowski, is that Polish? And I always say no. When my great grandfather was coming over from Ireland, he changed it from O Miskowski. <laughs> so as to avoid the immigrant stigma. <laughs> so, um, I was raised born again Christian. My parents are born again Christian. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the born agains. Anyone? Okay, great. For the rest of you, hot damn, they love Jesus. And they, and they pray an awful lot. Um, my father's a special concern is car safety, because I'm on the road a lot as a comic. I can't help thinking God has more important things to be concerned about, though. Is he up in heaven all? situation in the Middle East, and God's like, not now. I'm making sure Jennifer Miskowski gets to and from the comedy studio safely. <laughs> My mom prays for parking spaces. <laughs> for real. Um, but more than pray for them, she demands them of her guardian angels, because she's got them. <laughs> and just be driving along, and she'll be all like, angels, find me a parking space, like she's Charlie or something. <laughs> Do you think God really gives a shit where you park your car? And she's like, Jennifer? <laughs> Jennifer, God loves you so much. <laughs> then he knows how many hairs are on your head. <laughs> so every now and again I'm bored, I pluck a few out. <laughs> you know, just to fuck around with God. <laughs> up in heaven like 5,678, 5,679. One, two, three. <laughs> um, my grandpa died on the day after Christmas. It's really, this is a downer. Don't worry. It's, I might cry, but it's still comedy. So, um, so my grandpa died and his funeral was actually this morning and I gave the eulogy and everything and uh, it was pretty heavy. Um, I don't know how to describe my grandpa to people who don't know him. Like, um, like, do you guys know somebody with a disability that so overcompensates for their disability that you hardly even notice they have it anymore? My grandpa, he had no legs. Um, but he was such an incredible, incredible asshole. <laughs> God, and nobody even noticed. <laughs> he, he had no legs and he had gone blind complications of diabetes. And um, he also had congestive heart failure and he was having kidney failure and um, a number of other problems. Oh, re did I say renal failure? Yeah, I did say that. Oh, he was missing a pinky. But until last week, he was alive and kicking but not with his legs. <laughs> because he didn't have any. But I, I wrote the eulogy, and I, I wrote some laugh lines in, and um, I'll tell you, that funeral was the toughest fucking crowd I've ever had. <laughs> but seriously, seriously, it's been a week and a day since he died, and, uh, and I'll miss him, mostly because I may not be able to tell these jokes anymore. So, well, poor Jennifer Miskowski. <laughs> so, uh, I was walking home from the bus stop, and I was, um, I was walking, and I saw on the ground a used condom in front of the Rite Aid. Hey, Rite Aid. <laughs> well, it's funny that you should say that. It's, it's funny that you were right there with me, because I was kind of shocked to see it myself, because the Rite Aid doesn't make me personally feel very amorous. Um, <laughs> Walgreens, maybe. <laughs> CBS, now they've got the picture place. Uh, and it does it for me every time. Right Aid, no way. Oh. Right Aid, is it for you? Do you really? 
Oh, oh, four of them. No, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> you guys are really climbing the ladder, eh? <laughs> you live in the dream over there. <laughs> so, uh, I read a lot of self-help books. <laughs> Perhaps for obvious reasons. I, us, I read a self-help book recently that said, if you're overweight and you never mention it, no one will notice. <laughs> So until I meant, yeah, somebody said not true. Thanks for that hot tip, God. <laughs> yeah, so until I met you now, is there anybody here who didn't notice? I'm partner on a big fat ass, anybody, anybody. Um, I lost 80 pounds. I was on Weight Watchers a really long time. Yeah, thank you, I gave 100, so. But, um, I, I, made, I mean, I'm a yo-yo dieter. It doesn't make me bad. It makes me alternately fat and thin on various occasions. Um, but I'll tell you something right now, I'd give my eye teeth to be naturally thin. I would. And then I would go to the dentist, and I would get fake eye teeth and put them right there. So that nobody would notice. <laughs> Dental work, not funny, okay. <laughs> um, let's see, um, but my Weight Watchers leader used to say to me, Jennifer, when you get done with your points for the day, just go to bed. <laughs> Hi, hey, yeah, listen, I can't come into work today. <laughs> I had a really big breakfast. <laughs> go back to bed. <laughs> One of the glorious things about being a fat lady is that I've developed plantar fasciitis, which is a painful foot condition that runners get, and so do fat ladies. And, um, and the thing is, I had to see a bunch of um, uh, specialists about it, you know, like I saw some podiatrists and an orthopedist and everything. But um, one of the podiatrists I saw, he pulled me aside and he was like, Jennifer, you're overweight. And I was like, what? Because <laughs> I hadn't told him. <laughs> How could he possibly know? <laughs> but I'm fat. I call myself fat. I don't call myself a bigger girl. I don't call myself pleasantly no, no. plump. And for the love of Christ, I do not call myself big boned. I call myself fat. But if you call me fat, I will kick your fucking ass. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. residents and how I look for talent, Jennifer's a great example. I had just finished doing a little bit of business at Rite Aid, and she was walking <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>